Hi and welcome to today's bridal tutorial. Today we're going to focus on a gorgeous radiant skin and a warm smoky eye. So to begin with, we've prepped the skin with some moisturiser and some eye cream. And now I'm just going to pin the hair back out the way. We're just going to refresh and energise the skin by applying some Fix Plus Spray. So we're just going to give that a little while to set in and move on to the eyes. So first of all, I'm just taking some um, cream eyeshadow and I'm just going to place this all over the lid. This just acts as a great base for your shadow. And as we're going for a lovely warm smoky eye, this paint pot is a lovely warm toned brown. So I'm now just going to go on with my fingers just to kind of warm that up on the skin and get rid of any harsh edges. Now I'm just going to take a nice warm toned shadow and we're going to um, contour the lid. So if you just look straight ahead Suzanne. So it's good just to keep your eyes looking straight ahead when you're applying your contour as this helps you get into the socket area. So you're just applying this in soft feather motions along the crease bone. And always remember to tap your product off before you apply it to the lid just to get rid of any excess shadow. Okay, so now that we have our contour in place, I'm going to apply a lovely matte shadow to the lid. This is a really warm toned brown. And matte shadows are great, especially if you want to have it be, to be really long lasting for the day, as these really won't budge and they shouldn't really crease at all. So we're now just going to go back in with a blending brush and just soften all that out. Again, just remember to press this onto the lid. It's a lot better to press it on as it locks in the colour a lot better. And if you want to add a little bit more intensity to it, go in with your buffing brush and just push some of that onto the lid. So now we're going to apply some wispy lashes. These are probably one of my favourite sets of eyelashes by Ardell and they just look great on bigger eyes. So I'm just going to run some dual glue across the top of the strip of the lash. And I'm just going to allow five minutes for that to set in. So I'm just going to grab the lashes in the centre and if you just look down slightly, I'm just going to pop them on. These are also great lashes for if you're someone who's not really used to applying lashes as the thin band is very easy to apply onto your lash. But always remember if you need to trim them down before you apply them as this will make them a lot more comfortable on. And try and grab your own lashes as well whilst you're doing that to kind of marry the lashes together. Okay, so now that we have the lashes in place, I'm going to go in with a flesh toned eyeliner and we're just going to pop this along the bottom waterline. So I'm now going to apply some gel liner to the bottom lash line. And this will just give the shadow on the bottom some longevity. Okay, so now that we've got that in place, I'm going to take the shadow we put on the top of the lashes down onto the bottom lash line. And we're just going to apply this with a nice soft smudge brush. Okay, and we're now ready for some mascara. So now that the eyes are complete, we're going to move on to the skin. Today I'm going to mix in some Pro Long Wear Foundation by MAC with a little bit of strobe cream. The strobe cream just really helps to give a gorgeous radiant finish to the foundation. And we're just going to build this up in lovely soft layers. We can still create a really nice full coverage by building it up in the soft layers but it just stops it from looking too heavy and cakey. And by applying this with a soft buffing brush again just gives you a lovely airbrushed finish. 
and I'm actually just taking a little bit over the brows as well. This also helps to allow the powder to attach to the brow better when we're applying our shadow to the brows. Another important stage with your foundation is to take it onto the ears slightly as well. As you can find sometimes in your photographs, your ears might be a little redder, so this just helps to blend all in really nicely with the skin on the face and the neck. Okay, so now we're ready to move on to concealer. And remember not to go in too heavy with your concealer as it will crease slightly. And we're also just going to crisp up the eyeshadow with the concealer. This will give you a lot more professional look to your makeup. Okay, so now on to the brows. I'm just going to apply some powder with an angled brush as this just gives a really lovely soft look to the brows. And we can go in and tidy this up with our flat brush. So now that we have the brows in place, we're just going to powder all the skin down with some translucent powder. You can do this before you apply your blusher and bronzer or afterwards, it really doesn't matter which order you do it in. Okay, so now we're just going to contour the skin slightly and give it a little bit of a glow. And buff this into the cheeks. I'm just going to take this up into the temples and the top of the forehead. So as you can see, that just gives a gorgeous bit of warmth to the skin. Just add in a little bit more dimension as well. And on Suzanne's skin, we're going to apply a lovely peach toned blush as this really complements Suzanne's skin tone. So now that we have that in place, we're going to go into the lips. We're just going to go with a really nice, neutral, nude, pinky tone on the lips. So first of all, I'm just going to line them with a neutral toned pinky liner. And now to get a really nice, precise lip line on top, I'm going to apply the lipstick with a lip brush. Okay, so now we're just going to add a little bit of highlight to the cheekbone. This again just adds another dimension to the look. We're going to use a powder highlight as this again will create longevity instead of using a cream highlighter. So we're just going to apply this onto the high planes of the cheekbones and this just picks up really, really gorgeously on camera and whenever the light hits your face. We're applying this with a fan brush as well, just so that the product all disperses really nice and lightly. And we don't get too much product in one area. And finally, we're now just going to set the skin with some Fix Plus spray. This will just really hold it in place all day long. And there we have it, a lovely, beautiful bridal look.